All right, let's uh, tune in. Let's bring the palms together and rub them. Sitting up straight and chin parallel to the earth. Maybe tuck it back slightly, extending the back of the neck. Base your thumbs to heart center. Inhale. Exhale. First two mantras, Hong Namo Gurudev Namo, Nanad Gurudev Namo, inhale. Hong Namo Gurudev Namo. Hong Namo Retain the breath softly, just pause. Exhale, retain the breath out at the bottom. Inhale. And get in a mid, you can get in a mid, sat get in a mid, seeing Guru Dev in a Adgare name, Jigangare name, Satgare name, Sirin Guru Dev name. Adgare name, Jigangare name, Satgare name, Sirin Guru Dev name. Inhale and exhale. So throughout most of this practice, two things we're gonna be very conscious of. A, the breath, B, closing the eyes, crossing them up and in and feeling a sort of pressure right in between your eyebrows. So you can cross the eyes up and in, and it's a practice. At first your eyes may get tired, but with practice it gets easier. So the eyes will be closed. And, I mean, you can do it with your eyes open, but it's way weirder. Is it the one where I kind of look at the tip of my nose? Um, that works too. For stimulating the third eye, but you can also like look up towards it. So crossing this way okay. looks like, yeah, it looks kind of funny with your eyes open. <laughs> Just put palms up on the knees, really focus up at your third eye and notice your breath as well. We're not forcing the breath, just allowing it. releasing our minds from the day before us and what is to come. And giving ourselves permission to be still. If you were to boil down the purpose of meditation, 
in yoga is to find presence in every moment, to take the consciousness we have in these practices and carry it with us and make our whole lives a practice towards bettering ourselves and being the best we can, being aware and conscious, freeing ourselves from judgments that we cast at ourselves and others, it's creating space for self-love and stability. Before we get into the physical practice, I'm going to do a little bit more meditation. This is a very simple one. This is the one I would recommend doing on your own. It's very easy. I just set a timer for five to seven minutes and we hum. And then after that, sit still for three minutes and just breathe. So this is very, very grounding. It's a Buddhist practice and it's, I really like it. <laughs> so eyes closed and we're just going to let out a mm, Breath will self-regulate. Mm -hmm. Index finger and thumb tip touch. Focusing up at your third eye, continue. the tip of your tongue up against the roof of your mouth right behind your teeth lightly continue to hum Mm -hmm. 
This last minute, I want to give it all you got. Take the biggest, deepest breaths you can into the belly and hum and really notice where you're feeling the vibrations. Mm. One more time. Just sit in stillness. Allow yourself to be. The mind speaks. Just watch. Feel the shape of your body. Become aware of the space around you. Notice your heart center. Feel your root and grounded. Inhale, exhale. Yeah, hot tea sounds wonderful. I love kava. This kava blend tastes really good. Kava by itself doesn't taste very good, I don't think. Most roots don't. <laughs> I did the line right this morning. I struggle with that one. So we're gonna do a Kundalini Yoga Kriya called Release the Naval Energy. Through this again, just eyes will be closed. Really focus on your breath, and unless if it's instructed, just do a long yogic breath and really stay aware of the breath and your third eye. And you'll naturally feel other things, and your gaze will go there. We start with our hands in Venus Lock. So interlace the fingers. And your right thumb will press into the fleshy mound of the left hand for women, and then men, the left on the right hand. We're going to bring our hands behind our head or our neck, however they can go comfortably with the shoulders relaxed. Just breathe long and deep into your belly, consciously expanding and contracting the belly as you inhale and exhale. Breath is through the nose if available. 
notice which nostril is clearer and which has more pressure. We concentrate on inhaling through the more open side and exhaling through the more closed. The way I imagine this action is when I'm concentrating on one side, I give a subtle sort of wink of the eye and expand the nostril a little bit. It just draws my awareness to that side. So again, we're consciously inhaling through the side that's clearer and exhaling through the more clogged. Start to get tinglies in your hands. Drop your hands for a little bit. <coughs> tinglies in positions like this tend to be nerve compression of the shoulders, so I want to stop, adjust. Breath is slow and intentional. Full inhale, retain the breath and squeeze up gently on your pelvic floor. It's just the internal muscles like you're stopping gas in urine. This will strengthen our connection to our lower centers. Help move energy up the spine in time. And exhale. Inhale, keep the fingers interlocked. Press the palms towards the sky. Hold the breath. Exhale slow, holding the posture. Inhale completely. Hold. Exhale, relax the arms down through the sides. Slowly press your fingers into the ground, touch the earth. Consciously let go of your shoulders. It may help to squeeze them up a little bit and just drop them. Do a couple small neck circles each direction. Nowhere near your maximum. And turn your head side to side a few times. Then look up, press the chin out. Two big breaths here. We're gonna bring our hands to our shoulders, fingers in front, thumbs in back. Eyes closed, just long, deep breathing again. 
Feel your navel center, diaphragm, ribs, shoulders all expand as you inhale in that order. Exhale, reversing it. It's a very conscious, deep, slow breath. The secondary focus towards your third eye. You can either look at the tip of your nose or cross your eyes up and in, or go between the two. Inhale, hold the breath, slight pull up on mole bond, slight pull back on the elbows, opening the heart. So you're squeezing up like you're stopping gas and holding in urine. And exhale, relax, hands down. And transition to sitting on our heels. Teaaholic. I drink a lot of tea. Me too. <laughs> I used to drink a lot of soda though, and it kind of replaced it. So tea. Yeah, yeah, which is way better. And I change it up. I don't drink the same tea over and over again because a lot of these things are medicinal, and yeah. too much of anything is like not good usually. Yeah. It's like this is great until you eat this much. Yeah. So we're gonna do Sat Kriya. The mantra Sat Nam. When we say Sat. We're drawing in on our diaphragm, nam, we're relaxing it, and I just sip a little bit of air into my nose in between the sa and the nam. So it's like sit, nam, sit, nam, sit, nam, sit, nam, sit, nam, sit, nam, sit, nam. And we're consciously on the set pulling in on the diaphragm, and it just naturally ends up relaxing. This will help. It's a lot of what we're doing today is really massaging this whole area because the front point of the navel chakra is four fingers underneath the belly button. Or actually, yeah, the backside. But then you'll also see it up here at the solar plexus, and that's because like the front line's here, the back line's here, and all of the chakra points they have, I think it's called a keshram, and they, there's another word for it, but like where they relate on the front and back side of the body, because mm -hmm. they're kind of like etheric in nature. The, right. word, the word chakra means vortex or wheel. Uh -huh. So it's like a wheel of energy. Yeah. Um, palms together, interlace all of your fingers except for your index, and your right thumb crosses over left. I think. No, your left thumb crosses over right. Yeah, women left thumb over right, men right thumb over left. Arms straight up, and then consciously pull the shoulders back a little bit. The lower two thirds of the shoulder blades draw near each other, relax the shoulders, slight bend in the elbow. Eyes closed. You can look at the tip of your nose or up towards your third eye, and we'll begin. Sit, nam, sit. Nam sit, 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 
nam se 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 se nam 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 inhale hold the breath engage up on your root lock it's your rectum sex organs navel point squeeze up and in visualize energy going up the spine and then moving back down it exhale hold the breath out for one moment engage up on your root inhale exhale arms out to the sides to the aura fingers into the earth just press for a moment and take a couple breaths before we come off the heels lying on our backs slowly come off the heels especially if that's tends to be a tough one for some people yeah the practice it gets easier it's like any of these things they're building so lying flat on your back we're going to consciously slight bring the sides of the legs together point the toes away Slight bend in the knees, pressing your lower spine into the ground. We're gonna hover our hands over our hips and then bring our feet with our toes pointed about six inches off the ground. Lift our head, look towards our toes and start laughing. <laughs> really get your navel into it. <laughs> <laughs> if you need to do one leg at a time, you can. Otherwise, do what you can. If you get pain here, rest, come back. If you're cramping, rest, come back. If it's the first, second, or third day of your menstrual cycle, take it easy. <laughs> <laughs> this is so funny. 
<laughs> Just five more seconds. <laughs> Inhale, hold, squeeze, drop. Oh, let it go. Oh boy. You probably really noticed your navel center there. Yes. Hmm. So close your eyes. Make yourself big on the mat. Spread yourself out. Arms, palms up. Bring yourself mentally to four fingers underneath your belly button. You may touch to bring one hand to your navel center, so just right under the belly button. Breathe, relaxed breath, but feel that subtle movement and that pulsation. Just draw your awareness to the navel center. Relax. Allow yourself to be still, mentally, physically. See yourself floating slightly above your body. Just become aware of the space above your navel center.
Draw your awareness to your breath. Just the breath for a moment. Let the next couple breaths become deeper, fuller. And on the third breath, fill to maximum. back, stretch your arms up overhead, point your toes away, full body stretch. Couple breaths here. Then hug your knees in towards your chest, lift your head up, inhale, kick your knees towards your face, exhale, roll for, rock forwards, go all the way to standing, stretch your arms up overhead and jump five times. One, two, three, four, Five, and come sitting. Sometimes you just gotta jump, man. <laughs> this Kriya is fun. And laughing in stretch pose makes it way easier. Does it? Oh yeah, okay. yeah. If you just do it with breath of fire, I'll drop like way more, but when I'm laughing with it, I can keep myself up because I'm just like, we're laughing. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of like whenever really, kind of sad or whatever things happen in our lives and we just meet it with laughter, like, ah, everything's fine. <laughs> Very similar to that, I feel. It's a way we can kind of like process, you know. <sighs> so hands on the knees, palms up. We're gonna use the mantra Ekon Card, Satanam Siddhi Wahe Guru. I think it's on there, it's on the back though. Oh no, it's, yeah. Maybe it's not. It's on one of my old sheets. I know this. Oh, was number seven? Yeah. It? Yeah, it's just Ekon Kar Sat Nam Siddhi Wahe Guru. Don't worry about the us. So hands on the knees, palms up. Let's do pinky tip and thumb tip, touching lightly. Inhale. Ekon Kar Sat Nam Siddhi Wahe Guru. Ekon ka satanam siri 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 wahe guru. Ekon ka 
सत नाम श्री वाहे गुरु एक सत नाम श्री वाहे गुरु एक कौखा 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 सत नाम श्री वाहे गुरु इन Exhale, release the fingers. We're going to ground the fingertips beside us and relax the shoulders. Just let this be a relaxed gesture. We're going to hum again and begin. We're going to end as we began, just humming. You really want this to sink in. And this time, hum with gusto. Give it some power. Give it some oomph. And really feel the vibrations in your body. Inhale to begin. Really open your throat and kind of bring the tongue away from the back of the mouth and press the tip of your tongue up against the roof of your mouth. This will increase the vibration without pressure. Mm. to your lap, one hand on top of the other, thumb tips touching. This is Buddha Mudra. Yeah. Mm. Feel free to play with octaves. Give it some power. Continue.
after this cycle and just relax the breath and be complete stillness here and now. Scan your body. Notice anywhere that you're feeling a sensation. Just look at it. Take note as to how you feel right now mentally physically. Do you feel peaceful, excited, tingly? Let's bring the palms together and rub them. And seal with three satnams and an om. Heart center, inhale. Exhale. Inhale to begin. Satnam. Happy and healthy and feel complete. May we see our paths lay out before us, walk them with grace, and may they lead us to a point of security, self love, and complete stability of mind, body, and spirit. Thank you for joining me today. Satnam. If you haven't subscribed, please do. Also, know that we have a Patreon and we are accepting supporters. Lowest tier is $5. That keeps things like this being made, helps support this path, this studio, these teachers. Thank you for watching.